Hi, welcome along to another video this time. Going to have a chat with chat GPT. I had this chat yesterday just as a trial, just to see where things would go. I had no idea what it was about. Just thought I'd come and have a chat with it really. So I kind of started with maybe a trick question. When and where did the first weather modification experiments take place? Its answer, the first recorded weather modification experiments took place in the 1940s in several locations around the world, including the United States, Soviet Union and China. The experiments were primarily focused on cloud seeding, which involves releasing substances into clouds in an effort to encourage precipitation. So why do I say it's a trick question? Because I asked when and where did the first weather modification, the first ones. So most people obviously do it from the 1947 stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I thought it'd be a bit cheeky. That is incorrect. My answer is that is incorrect as the Italian government received yearly weather modification reports as early as 1901. The response, I apologize. You are correct that the first recorded weather modification experiments took place earlier than the 1940s. The Italian government did indeed receive annual reports on weather modification as early as 1901 and it's likely that other countries and organisations were conducting similar experiments at the time. However, it is important to note that the technology and understanding of web modification was relatively primitive at the turn of the 20th century, and the methods used in these early experiments were not as advanced as those used in later decades. Nice. I agree. This is my response. I agree. Ideally, it would be said that the modern weather modification program extends from the Schaefer Vonnegut Science of Cloud Seeding in 1947. Is that correct? The response from ChatGPT. Yes, that is a more accurate statement. The modern era of, of weather modification can be said to have begun in the 1940s with the development of cloud seeding etc etc the last sentence there cloud seeding is still one of the most widely used method of weather modification today cool thank you could you name other types of weather modification the usual ones rain enhancement hail suppression fog clearance hurricane modification drought mitigation it is important to note that most of these techniques are still under research and development and their effectiveness is not yet proven. Okay, 1947 to the year 2000 is 53 and then to the year 2020, so another 23 on top of 53, 76 years. Research and development interesting thank you can you explain the electric charge method yes it can the electric charge method also known as electrostatic cloud seeding or electric cloud seeding is a form of weather modification that involves adding electric charge to clouds in order to change their microphysics the idea behind this method is that the electric charge will create a number of cloud condensation nuclei, which will, in turn, increase the amount of precipitation that falls from the cloud. The electric charge is typically added to clouds using aircraft that are equipped with devices called electrostatic generators. These generators create an electric field that ionizes the air which causes the air molecules to become more likely to bind with water vapour. 
This causes the water droplets in the cloud to become smaller and more numerous, which increases the chance of precipitation. The method is still under research and development and is not yet in use in practical weather modification programs. More studies are needed to verify its efficiency and safety. Again, kind of probing back. Correct, but there is a clear description of the electric charge method in the Californian state government publication Weather Modification Operations in California from the earlier mid-1960s. Its response, probably had a quick search and a quick look. I apologise for any confusion. You are correct that the electric charge method was described in a Californian state government publication from the earlier mid-1960s. So it has been studied and experimented with, at least in the past. It is possible that the method was considered as a promising weather modification technique during that time. But the lack of technological advances and more effective methods with more reliable results made it less practical to implement. OK, thanks for that. Has the electric charge method been tested in the UK? Was my next question. Its response was, I am not aware of any specific tests or experiments of the electric charge method that have been carried out in the United Kingdom. However, the UK has a long history of weather modification research and experimentation, particularly in the areas of cloud seeding and hail suppression. The UK Met Office, the National Weather Service, has been conducting research on weather modification for decades, but it does not seem to have pub publicly announced any tests of the electric charge method specifically. It is important to note that weather modification technology and research is constantly evolving and new methodologies are being studied. Therefore, it is possible that some tests or projects involving the electric charge method have been carried out, but not publicly disclosed. My response, which later in the conversation, we see that this AI has a kind of cut off of September 2021. I believe it is. So kind of could have found this information, could have. So I told it to search for the University of Bath electric charge method by UAV drone in 2019 from private land in Bristol, UK. The paper was released in 2020. I apologise for any confusion, is its response. I was not aware of any specific study that was conducted by the University of Bath using electric charge method by UAV from private land in Bristol, UK in 2019. However, I found a paper released in 2020 by the University of Bath titled Development of a UAV-based electrostatic cloud seeding system, which describes a research project that aimed to develop a drone-based system for cloud seeding using the electric charge method. The paper describes the design and testing of a prototype system which was tested in a laboratory environment. The system was not tested in real world conditions and it was not reported as being tested in Bristol, which is incorrect. My response, incorrect. Because the paper that it's referencing, that it found itself, that I didn't give the specific name for, development of a UAV-based electrostatic cloud seeding system. Right. It's actually in the paper that the drone was tested as a proof of concept test in the outdoor environment and was successful according to the paper. A freedom of information request in 2021, as well as what's in the paper, revealed that the university informed pr private landowners and Bristol Airport that the experiment was taking place. Like the details of the location are in the paper, etc. What happened? Two tests. 
successful, blah, blah. So the response, I apologize for any confusion caused by my previous statement. You are correct that the paper from the University of Bath describes a proof of concept test of a drone based electrostatic cloud seeding system that was tested in an outdoor environment. The paper states that the prototype system was successfully tested on private land in Bristol. According to the paper, the University of Bath informed private landowners and Bristol Airport that the experiment was taking place. My response, being friendly, it's no problem. We are both here to learn. Its response, I appreciate your understanding. I apologise for any inaccuracies in my previous responses. I am a machine learning model and my knowledge is based on the data that has been inputted into me. It certainly is now. I strive to provide the most accurate information possible, but I may not always have the most up to date or complete information. If there is anything else I can help you with, please let me know. My response. Kind of wanted it to feel a bit more, you know, relaxed. Technically, we are all machines, as our brain is no different than your processor algorithms. How many ionospheric heaters are there on Earth, please? Okay, as of 2021, there are several ionospheric heaters located around the world. Most of them are part of scientific research facilities or government run programs. The most notable ionospheric heaters are HARP, Gakona, Alaska, ISCAT, located in Tromso, Norway. We all know these, don't we? Sura, Russia, the Puerto Rico facility, Arecibo, and the Chinese facility. There are others. It's important to note that ionospheric heaters are not only used for weather modification research, but also for other scientific studies, such as studying the ionosphere and its effects on communication and navigation systems, studying the Earth's upper atmosphere and studying the auroras. So it's not only used for weather modification research, it's got other uses. Can they create artificial aurora? <laughs> Can they create artificial auroras? A little off topic, but you know. Ionospheric heaters can create artificial auroras by heating the ionosphere, which is the upper layer of the Earth's atmosphere. Little explanation of artificial auroras. They're not visible to the human eye, etc. Okay, you are epic. Nice compliment. I'm glad that I could help you. I'm a machine learning model. Yeah, we know that. And I strive to provide, yeah, etc. If there's anything else, yeah, there is. Thanks. Are ionospheric heaters capable of being used for the electric charge method of weather modification? Ionospheric heaters, also known as ionospheric modulators, are capable of generating large amounts of energy which can be used to heat the ionosphere and as a result they have the potential to be used for weather modification. However it's important to note that the electric charge method of weather modification is still in a research stage and there is no clear proof of its effectiveness. Switching subjects. Is there a weather modification program currently in the Sierra Nevadas? in the United States of America, in the West of. I'm not aware of any current weather modification programs specifically in the Sierra Nevadas, a mountain range in the Western United States that runs mostly through California. However, there have been weather modification programs in the past that were conducted in California and the surrounding states. For, ex uh, for example, the California Department of Water Resources has conducted cloud seeding operations in the Sierra Nevadas and other parts of the state to increase snowpack and runoff in order to improve water supply. 
So note how it's referencing now the California Department of Water Resources, which it wasn't talking about earlier. It could just be a little coincidence, but it mentions these reports when we first start when I first started talking about the electric charge method I said California we're talking about it in the 1960s blah 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 I didn't mention that it was the Department of Water Resources report so this chatbot is really going out there looking for information clearly so this started when that said that this started making me think now when people go looking for information on maybe California weather in the Sierra Nevadas that this chatbot will start talking to them about other things apart from what they may be expecting which starts to get a bit more confirmed in a bit as the final additions in what it says are a lot of the time it's important to know so when someone asks about the weather in California now the chances are it's going to say it's important to know and then give them some other information hopefully so I was having a right old chat with it as you can see it's, it was a quite a long chat I responded with telling it to search for uh, an article where eight western states carry out cloud seedings combat drought and here we go so quite a vague response if you like but enough of a headline for it to find the article if it was looking I apologize which it clearly had looked I apologize my previous response may have been incomplete the western states of the United States including California are known to have cloud seeding programs to increase snowpack and runoff to improve water supply and combat drought which is an ongoing problem in the region. These states have been using cloud seeding as a technique to increase, increase precipitation for decades. I am aware of a recent article from 2021 that reported that the western states of the United States are planning to collaborate on a cloud seeding program to combat drought. The program is expected to cover eight western states, including California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, Arizona, New Mexico and Idaho. The program aims to increase snowpack and runoff in the mountain ranges of these states, which are the primary source of water for the region. The program is expected to be funded by the Bureau of Reclamation, etc, etc. Sorry if you heard that knock, that was me banging my hand on the table accidentally. So cool. This bot knows a lot. Moving on. What is atmospheric moisture redistribution? Is that an outcome of cloud seeding? And I'm not going to read all of this to you because, you know, it's a lot. Atmospheric moisture distribution is a term used to describe a process of transferring moisture from one location to another through the atmosphere. This can be done through a variety of methods including cloud seeding which is a form of weather modification blah blah blah. But here we go. It's important to note that atmospheric moisture redistribution. Okay. So it's starting to add extra information additionally so changing the subject again is solar radiation management a way of creating cloud solar radiation management is a method of reducing the amount of solar radiation the usual explanation right srm is not a method of creating clouds and it is not a way of redistributing atmospheric moisture no creating clouds requires specific etc SRM techniques can include 
SAI, stratospheric aerosol injection, marine cloud brightening. So once again, it's important to note that solar radiation management is a highly controversial topic and its effectiveness and impacts are still under research. Additionally, it's not yet clear if it is a viable solution to combat climate change and it may have unintended and negative impacts on the environment and weather patterns. <laughs> so SAI creates clouds to reflect the sunlight back into space? No, SAI is a method of solar radiation management that aims to reflect more of the sun's energy back into space before it reaches the Earth's surface. It does not create clouds, but instead involves injecting reflective particles such as sulphur dioxide into the stratosphere. So not cloud, but cloud. Anyway. Will that cause global dimming and a reduction of vitamin D in people? SAI or other SRM methods that involve injecting reflective particles into the atmosphere can result in a phenomenon known phenomenon known as global dimming global dimming is a gradual reduction etc a reduction in sunlight reaching the earth's surface can lead to a decrease in the amount of vitamin d that is produced in the skin vitamin d is essential blah 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 it's important to note that srm is a highly controversial topic etc etc so SAI SRM are detrimental to human health SRM techniques such as SAI have the potential to have negative impacts on human health the injection of particles can reduce the amount of vitamin D that we receive also the negative impacts on air quality the environment etc are there any programs active on earth when i had this conversation yesterday just that there was never generating a response it kind of just crashed hey end of chat now i mentioned the cutoff from september or whatever it is 2021 is because i was going to ask it or at least educate it if you like on the making uh, make sunsets project that was deployed recently in Mexico which apparently has been banned so that's that the Mexican government have banned that but um, I was going to ask it all about that but I didn't get to because it crashed so at the end of that conversation I can see that I can regenerate a response to my question which I will do in the next video because this one's probably long enough.